On today's episode, we are going to talk about the JHS Pedals Pulp and Peel. Who threw this Pulp and Peel at me? Oh, just little old me. Hey, it's Addison. Look at that. We're going to talk about this pedal, and we're going to talk about how it's pretty much, in my opinion, the most versatile JHS pedal that we make. I would agree. The other day, I came into this room that we're in right now with a pulp and peel. I plugged it in because I really hadn't ever played one, to be honest. I've worked here for a very long time, and I don't really feel like I've ever actually played a pulp and peel. I plugged it up, and I was absolutely just taken aback by its versatility. If you have seen this and thought, like, I don't know, I don't need a compressor. That's where that's your first mistake. Yep. Is looking at this and saying, this is only a compressor. Because it's not, you guys. It's so much more. It's so much more. Before we jump into listening to the pulp and peel, we gotta know about what kinds of press what kind of You got it. You got it. What's what kinds of compressors we have at our disposal. So Addison, tell us about the kinds of compressors that yep. there are. There are tons of different styles of compression in the world. You can get optical style compression, made famous by the LA-2A compressor, which is a studio tool that people love. There is the classic and famous Dynacomp, which is an OTA style compressor. And then you can get something like the Pulp and Peel, which is a FET style compression, which was made popular by the 1176. It's a recording compressor that mm -hmm. people use in studios a lot. And this was based off of the Dan Armstrong Orange Squeezer. Nice. Oh, wait, do we have, do oh, we have the that. box? Look at this. He has the box. Let's take it out of the box. Let's Hold on. get it out of the box. It's really hard to get it out okay. of. Okay. This is great content. Don't break it. I got it's it. It's original. Got it. This is the Dan Armstrong orange squeezer Ooh. with the box. <gasps> oh, uh oh. Yeah. Here's a nondescript piece of paper uh -oh. inside of a box. Uh oh. Let me open it up. What is this? What could it be? Uh, it's oh, original. It's a receipt Whoa. from Harmony Music Whoa. Incorporated, 7227 Canby Ave, California. Dang. Look at that. You don't have this kind of paper at your house. It's faded. It must it's, mean it's old. It's real faded. Wow, that's so cool. Neat. So awesome. I never get to do that in the show. Throughout JHS's long history, we have had several different versions of the Pulp and Peel, this being the most current one, but at the beginning, it started off looking a lot like this and like this, just like a two knob compressor deal. With this one, you can see the JHS mod sticker on it, which is like, this is like super old. This is like Indiana Jones, like lock this thing up in a museum kind of thing. That belongs in a museum. And then um, we added a blend control. This is kind of like when I started working here era. So you have the blend control. You can blend in your clean signal yep. into your compressed signal, which is awesome. And then you have your buffer switch, which mm. is pretty dope. Did you build that one, Nick? I. We'll leave it a mystery, I don't okay. know. Maybe I built it. There's a good chance I, I could have built you this. You could have built it. Oh, I can't forget this one. Mm. This one's like wrapped in like basketball skin or something. You lose the um, buffer switch on the outside, but um, still a really good look. Got that stamp on there. And then there's the printed version, which is still very similar with the blend knob and everything. After this version though, Josh had been working a lot in recording studio using the sure level lock and really loved the idea of like really kind of pushed compressed drum overheads. And so when we started doing the JHS 500 series and we're thinking about turning this into a 500 series unit, Josh was thinking about drum overheads and drum compression. And so when he turned this into the 500 series unit, we added a bunch of goodies like a tilt EQ, a rat, some other really cool stuff. And this ran for, I don't actually, you know, I don't actually know how long we made mm. these for. They didn't survive long. They didn't they? survive very long. It's we okay. don't talk about it. It's okay. If you have one, again. If you have one, it's like, it's like it's, history. It's history. It's history. Mark of the Covenant sure. level stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So the first thing we're gonna take a listen to is the JHS 500 series pulp and peel on drum <laughs> overheads. It's okay. I don't know why he's laughing. <laughs> Just roll the clip. Oh, 
Boy, those drums were sure crunchy. They were, they were so crunchy. They were Captain Crunch. Mm. They were delicious. I love them. I love crunchy drums. But th these crunchy drums by themselves, it's yeah. gonna hurt your mouth. That's right. You need a, so you need a bass part. So the bass is like, so like the, the bass, bass is like the milk. Okay, cool. So we're gonna add some milk yeah. to these Captain Crunchy drums here. <laughs> we're gonna use the pulp and peel uh, on bass as well. I'll start with it off and then we'll turn it on. These are the settings. Can you see them right here? That's beautiful. I'm getting a nod. We can see the settings here. I've got the EQ rolled off a little bit. It's a tilt EQ. So this at noon is off. And if we roll it back a little bit, it's gonna roll off some high end. But mm. tilt EQs work in the way that musically shift the overall frequency balance. Isn't that a, isn't that That's a cool poetry. way of putting it? It is poetry. I didn't come up with it. Did you read that on the internet? I did indeed. I read it on the copy from the Diamond Compressor. It also has a tilt EQ. So this is a, a similar EQ type, different style of compression. Cool. But this is what we're gonna use right now. Running direct, straight into the computer, no color box like we no normally do. Box. And then we are using a Universal Audio uh, B15 amp sim plugin. How dare you. It's, I know, it's not a real amp. Sorry for all you real bass players out there. But that's how we do it here that's how at we do JHS. It. Yeah. Dang, this gym is good. It's so awesome, but you know what? It Why are you use? laughing? I'm just, I'm just so full of joy. You're so full of joy. I just love this pedal so much. Me you too. know what this jam could use though? What? It could just use some like DI electric that's just like flavor blasted okay. with this pulp and peel. Got it. So could you do like a double tracked yeah. thing left and right with like a strat kind of thing? Like a. Yeah, but like with these settings. Yep. These ones really get after it. Just like, just fully just slam it as much as this pedal will give yeah, us. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Wow, that jam straight took us to Punky Town. Did it ever. And it was Awesome. Yep. Now, I want to explain a little bit about the compression control of the pulp and peel. Do tell. Like a five star dinner, okay. they don't bring you out like hot sauce and salt and pepper. Right. Because the chef seasoned it perfectly. Exactly. So, like a five star dinner, the compression settings mm -hmm. are set. The threshold, the attack, all that stuff is set. Okay. This knob is basically blending a set amount of compression into your signal. It's different than the blend blend knob. Got it. That's clean signal. Right. But when it's all the way down, there's actually still compression happening. The more you turn it up, it's just adding more of that compression sound. It's blending more of that into your signal. Think of this like the work has been done for you. Right. It's a very like breathy sounding compression. Okay. That's how Josh describes it, yep. and I agree. Yep. It's a very cool, like, dependable mm -hmm. compression control. Yeah. So for you simple people out there, like me. And like me. Yeah, we don't like a lot of controls. No. It's already decided for you. It's just, it's there for you. It's like a good buddy. It's like a, a good buddy and a hug if you're sad. Yeah. All right, so for our next jam, we're gonna do two things that we don't normally do on the show. Number one, we're gonna use an acoustic guitar. Whoa. And number two, we're gonna run direct. Whoa. Nick, why don't you tell us yeah. about it? So we're gonna do those two things, exactly right. what you just said. Great. And I'm gonna use these settings. I have the volume at noon. I have the comp dialed back just a little bit okay. for this acoustic guitar sound. I got the blend at noon, which is just, it just lets some of the naturalness, naturalness yeah. of the acoustic guitar come through. Um, there's an LR bags pickup in this guitar and it just, just sound. go buy yep. all the LR bag stuff. Everything. Um, and I've used the EQ to kind of like add a little bit of darkness. You don't know the power of the dark side. Just roll some of that, roll top, some end of that top, top end off. Okay. Um, no dirt, 
I'm saving that for later. Cool. And not only am I going to use the XLR out as the DI, but I'm also going to use the instrument out to do a parallel effect. Whoa. Okay. Not stereo. Not stereo. We don't do that on the show. Not stereo. Parallel. Get this through your head. It's not stereo. So I'm gonna take the instrument out and I'm going to run it into my favorite pedal, the Ryan Gosling of pedals. Because no matter how hard I try, I can't make this thing ugly. Oh. It is the Keeley Caverns. I literally turned this thing on and I went like that. I met, just did that. It was, did it that. was gorgeous, okay? So this is going to, we're gonna fade this up. Okay. When you're listening to the jam, yep. you're gonna hear just the acoustic guitar and then we're gonna fade this up so you can hear it right next to it. The full, um, it's gonna be full wet. Okay. One channel. On the pedal, yeah. Full dry. Okay. It's just it's gonna so mix good. them together. Cause sometimes you've gotta. Yes, yes, yes. Next, we're going to use the pulp and peel. In a way, I don't feel like anyone's using it for. Absolutely not. Because what most people don't realize is that this dirt switch is a modded rat, and you can pretty much use this pedal as a rat. Right. Addison, yeah. explain. So first thing we're gonna do, drop D. Drop D. Straight away. That's what you're gonna do. Exactly. What's cool about the pulp and peel is the way things are internally run. Everything's in series. So your compression circuit comes first. Mm -hmm. It's followed by the rat. Mm -hmm. It's followed by the tilt EQ. Mm -hmm. It's followed by the preamp. Okay. Which is then the output. Yeah. Right. And then it goes to your amp. Right. And then it goes to your ears. Okay. And then it goes to your soul. Dang. Yeah. Cool. And the volume yep. is the volume of the preamp. Exactly. It is at the end of the signal chain. So yes. it is, a, in effect, a master volume. Yes, exactly. So we've got these settings here. The blend is all the way up, compression's all the way down. So there's still a little bit still of compression bit. happening, but there's all of the rat happening. All of the rat. You can dial in the amount of dirt on the side here with this tiny little knob. So this will give you more distortion, yeah. basically. And just a pointer, all the way up. All the way just up. Just turn it all the way That's up. That's what we're doing why, here. Like, why would you not? This is going to blow your mind because it blew my mind. Yeah. If it doesn't blow your mind, then you're not alive. You need to check your pulse, okay? Just remember, compressor. Compressor. Are you ready? They're not ready. Also, because you got to use your favorite pedal, mm -hmm. I'm gonna use my favorite pedal yeah. uh, with this jam. The Deluxe Memory Man Tap Tempo. Yes, this has the NOS Panasonic chips. Josh isn't here to make fun of me. It's the good sounding chips. That was crazy. And remember, that was a compressor pedal. Compressor. Just keep that in mind. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but a lot of people recently have been saying how Addison has really good drum faces, and I've been feeling like maybe I should practice mine. So 
you probably noticed I was like working on mine in that jam. Yeah. And I think that they're probably some keepers. Who's better? Nick's drum faces or yeah. mine? This isn't a competition. It's not a competition, but it but is. But I want to know. Yeah. This thing's so flexible. It's so crazy. It's so flexible that we're gonna do yet another tone. We're gonna do another tone. Another jam. Nick. Yeah, this is, these are my settings. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna have blend at noon, a little bit more clean than just the full right. rat. Yep. Um, compression at noon, volume is gonna be up. Okay. I'm gonna turn the volume up just a little bit of, just add a little bit high end. Yep. And our dirt circuit's gonna be on. I like to call this the small amp sound. Why? Because it just, it sounds like a small amp to me. Like a small amp turned up. Like a small sound. amp turned up, exactly. Yeah. And what better to pair with a small amp than a, a small delay, which is a slap echo, which is what I call slap echo. Right. I don't know if you knew this. I call slap echo small delay. Really? Yeah. I know it now. Now you know it. Dang. So I'm going to use this okay. um, after, and we're going to just do like a little small amp kind of thing. And it's going to, again, for real, mm -hmm. this is going to blow your mind. This right. is a full, this is a sound. Yeah. This is a sound in and of itself. A compressor pedal doing this sound. It's crazy. Just keep that in mind. Action. Do the jam. like a small amp. Me, oh my, did it ever. Dang, dang. <laughs> From a compressor, it was a compressor pedal. Just keep in mind, it was Just a keep compressor in mind. pedal. <laughs> that was loud. Okay, next. For this final jam, and I know you guys are like, oh, I was hoping there were gonna be like seven more of these. There could have been, but we're lazy. Yep. So for this last one, we're going to do also something we've never done before. That's true. I'm gonna play acoustic, Dang. and Addison's gonna be, play electric, yep. and we're gonna play at the same time like how they used to in the olden times. I'm gonna use this really cool hand-painted. This is my favorite peel. pulp and peel that I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, it's really, really cool. This is an older version, um, but it's literally pretty much exactly the same, same thing. Yep. I'm gonna be running almost everything pretty much at noon, and I'm gonna be running my acoustic DI again. This is DI. Okay, Straight just keep that in mind, it's DI. All right, we got Comp at noon, blend at noon, volume at noon, EQ pretty much at noon. Dang, all your settings are like almost at noon? Yeah. It's funny, mine are kind of almost all at noon. That's well. weird. I know. It's That's really weird. odd. It seems it like would... you're copying me or something. I'm, I, well, I wasn't I wasn't copying oh, you. It's pretty weird. I think, I think I got mine set up before you did. Are you gonna use anything else? Yeah, I'm gonna use another pedal too. I'm gonna use the small delay? Is that what we're calling this? Yeah, let's do it. First, second, action. Pulp and Peel is awesome. I think I think that's what we've learned Absolutely. today, is that the Pulp and Peel is awesome. And I know, I know what you're thinking. These guys are being paid to say this, and you're not wrong. We are. You're actually right. We are being paid to say this because this is what our job is. Right. But can I tell you something? Look at me right in the eyes. I don't like every single JHS pedal. 
I love this pedal. And it's very, Addison knows this. I don't freak out about pedals all the time. Listen, he walked in the room last week and he plugged this thing in and he went, holy crap. And he just started turning knobs. It just started turning knobs. That was the and inspiration for this episode. Literally, I was just absolutely blown away. This is truly, truly one of our most versatile pedals. I love it a lot. The heart don't lie. And whether you refer to this as the orange squeezer, the pulp and squeeze, the orange slice, the squish and squeeze, the pulp and pop, no matter what you call this, mm -hmm. a pulp and peel by any other name, it just, it sounds the same. It's still a pulp it's and still, peel. It's still a pulp and peel, and it's a pulp and peel. That's what the name is, okay? Pulp and peel. Remember that. Pulp and peel. Simple. Pulp, pulp and, and peel. peel. Pulp and peel. Pulp and peel. Pulp and peel. Pulp and peel. Record time. On today's record time, again, we're gonna do two records because there's two of us, so that's why. Um, I'm doing Me Without You's Untitled album. This album's really, really good. I love Me Without You. I love me some Me Without You. Uh, the first song on here, track one, is just fantastic. This whole album's really good. It's definitely like, you need to just put it on and listen to it top to bottom, for sure. It's an experience. You must. Must. What did you get? I picked da, 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 Casey Musgraves Golden Hour. Golden Hour. Golden Hour because it's orange. Sunset, Sunset orange. orange. Do you get it? Peel. Got get it. it? I get it. Yeah. That's not actually why I picked the record. I picked it because it's genuinely one of my very favorite records, top to bottom. Uh, my favorite song on here, I don't know, Slow Burn is awesome. I also love Mother. Uh, it's a really beautiful song lyrically. Uh, it's also very short, but I love that one too. The whole record though, honestly, is amazing. I don't think I've actually listened to that all the way through. Seriously? I'm offended. Okay. I haven't listened to that record, so you could be offended too. I'm offended. Okay. <laughs> now you're making fun of me. That's, that's it. Okay. That's record time. Bye. Thanks so much for watching this episode. It was really fun discovering this pedal again, maybe. It was fantastic. I love this pedal. I feel like I really need it now. It's fantastic. If you like this episode, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified every single time we drop a new episode. And if you like today's jams, you can head down to the link below. There's a BandLab link you can go jam with us. These jams will be on BandLab. Also head over to our Patreon page to help us preserve pedal history. Thank you to all of our patrons who are supporters of the show. We're super grateful. Uh, I think that's it. I think that is it. Yeah. We got other stuff we gotta go do. We gotta roll. Okay. Bye. Bye.